you're having quite the incredible time at the moment. I'm sure it's a feeling a bit like a whirlwind. Um, but we'll start we'll start with your film, which you are a lead in, like How to Stop a Recurring Dream. I mean, that's incredible in itself. Like, how did it even come to you? Is it something you heard about? Did they come to you? Like, how did this all start? Happen. Okay, so I shot How to Stop a Recurring Dream before Bridgerton. Yeah. So this was my first film job and it was just a standard audition. I remember my agent called me and said, there's this film, um, have a read, see what you think. And I read the whole film like very quickly because it was that good. And I cried at the end and I just knew I had to do it. What was it about it that, that struck a nerve with you? I don't know, I think I just related a lot to Yukira's character and everything that she goes through. She's a flawed character, but she's a good person and she's trying to just connect with her sister. Yeah. And I just really related to that. Have you got a uh, rebellious streak in you as well? Yeah, de yeah definitely. <laughs> what would you like to know? <laughs> <laughs> oh, what are you willing to share? I love it at this point, if you want. <laughs> what well, is the most rebellious thing that you've done? I'm sure it's not, you know, it's taking a car or anything like that. No, 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 no. But I used to, I used to, I used to sneak out when I was younger and go drink alcohol with my friends under the stars and stuff like that. Drive yeah. my parents mental. Yeah, but that's the stuff that youth is made of. Those memories. So exactly. But like you said, you filmed this before Bridgerton, but obviously at that point, you didn't know what was ahead of you and the whole whirlwind that this was going to become. So how does it feel having this film coming out now, having gone through everything with Bridgerton? I'm really, really happy that it's coming out now because people have just seen my face for the first time and anybody that enjoyed my performance might be thinking, I wonder when she's gonna do something next. And I can just go, well, here you go. March 9th, how to stop a recurring dream, watch it. Obviously, I mean, I'm, I have to touch on Bridgerton because that is, like you say, where people are gonna know you from now. And it is a phenomenal success. I think when you're gonna be in a Shonda Rhimes, like series anyway, it's gonna be amazing. How are you kind of dealing with everything that's come with it. The fame, I guess, and we might as well just call it fame. All the fame that has come with Bridgerton that, you know, you're now gonna get, I guess, more people watching this film as a result. How, yeah. how are you dealing with all of this? Well, it's been crazy. It's been a complete whirlwind. Um, I suppose, but at the same time, I've been surprisingly calm about it all. And I don't know if that's because we're in lockdown. So life, so I'm not on red carpets or going to fancy parties or any of that sort of stuff because of lockdown. But I'm, I'm, I'm surprisingly calm, actually. I feel like I'm right where I'm supposed to be. You must have seen your Instagram follow followers just grow probably like overnight. Yeah, literally overnight. Like I'm not joking. Like it went up from, I, I think I only had about 5,000 5, followers and now I'm on over 200,000. <laughs> yeah, it's like, Phenomenal. And are you going to be in season two of Bridgerton? My lips are sealed. I'm not allowed to stay. <laughs> <The power's laughs> <really good. laughs> I did think that would be the case. It's absolutely fine. Um, oh, actually, though, before I go, with reggae having taken, like, I think everyone is just a little bit obsessed with him. He's taken over the world. Yeah. He basically has taken over the world. But when you were filming it, did you realise, did you see that kind of star quality in him? Or was it just like, oh, but it's just, it's just reggae, like... No, it was just reggae. <laughs> I, like, obviously, like, he's a good looking guy and he's like one of the most talented people that I know. But my God, I wasn't expecting this. Do you know what I mean? Like, the world is obsessed with reggae right now. It is his year. So, and he deserves it as well. So well done to him. I mean, you all deserve it. All of you in Bridgerton have done such an amazing job anyway. So hopefully all good things are coming your way. Um, and I'm sure, again, like I said, it's it's only gonna help with this film because you did such an amazing job in Bridgerton that people are gonna wanna see you in something new. So good luck with this one as well when it comes out, Ruby. Thank you, Melissa. Lovely to meet you.